Well, hello. Thank you so much for being here. People. Nice to have you. It's raining. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We have a heavy rain today. We cannot listen it. We can hear you. It's not like mute. I'm sorry. I was me. <laughs> nice and clear? Yes? Yes. Oh, perfect. Right? It's raining. It's raining here in San Salvador. We have a heavy rain. teacher. Hey, good evening. Hello. How are you? Good. Thank you. Oh, that's good. Nice to have you one more time. Andan allá por las ruedas? On like, on like, like play Lampard? Yes? No? At home? No. <laughs> I'm sorry. Tenemos clases. <laughs> I'm sorry. Tenemos clases. Ya casi. Aguante. Right? Solo one hour. Y then? Se puede ir a comprar allá los churros, allá a Playland. If you live here in San Salvador. If you live here in San Salvador. If not, como dice Doña Nurka, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for you. Yeah, if you don't eat it. Oh, what are you drinking? Ajá, uh -huh, Isabel, what are you drinking? I'm drinking coffee. Oh, do you like coffee? I have coffee. Yes, I love it. Oh, but what about a pastry? You don't have a pastry with you? A what? A pastry? Pan dulce ahí? ¿Te pinta? ¿Pastry? ¿No? Yes. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good, right? I love it. Everybody loves that. Uh, Arely. Okay, Arely. I'm sorry. Nice to have you. Uh, Rosa Maria. Hello, Rosa. Sí. I'm sorry to hear that. If you don't hear me, avise me. Let me know. Let me know. If you don't hear me, avise me. Avise me, please. Let me know. Avise me. Okay. Y algunos tienen inconvenience with your with your with your internet porque está lloviendo heavy here in San Salvador. No sé si in in your in your like place it's raining. Yes. No sé si está lloviendo in your place at home. Because here we have a heavy rain. We have a heavy rain here in San Salvador. This is class number six, right? Oh, yeah. Class number six. Thank you so much for being here. Let me show you. Algunos ya andan on vacation, right? At the camera. Oh, yeah. Ready? Yes? Yeah. Not? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, Maricela, good evening. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good night. Thank you so much. Good evening. Blanca. Hello, Blanca. How are you? Welcome, teacher. Welcome. It's How nice. are you, teacher? I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Everything is awesome. Yes. Very nice, teacher. Oh, that's good. <laughs> it's raining. Yeah, yeah it's raining. It's I'm a heavy rain. Here in San Francisco. Milagro. Sí? Milagro. Hello, Milagro. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello, oh, everybody. How oh, how are you, Milagro? I'm fighting, uh, teacher. Oh, that's great. That's great. What are your plans? What are your plans for this uh, vacation? What are you going to do? Are you going to do something special on vacation? Nothing? Whatsoever? Voy a tomar la at. Espérame, espérame, espérame. Jesus, aquí hay no es time for change. No es time for change. El de ustedes no es time for change. Hola, teacher. Yo no sé si es mi internet, pero de repente lo escucho y de repente. Oh, ok. Avísenme si no me escuchan para ver qué puedo hacer. ¿Vale? Sí. Avísenme si no me escuchan para ver qué puedo hacer. Ok. 
Okay. Perfecto. Ajá, a mí también me falta. Sí, yo también escucho como cortado. Sí, ahorita veo la red. Hola, hola. Vamos ahí, vamos Se a ver. Escucha cortado. Okay. Sí, yo creo que quizás es mi señal porque igual lo escucho cortado. Ok, voy a apagar los micrófonos, permítanme. Ok, 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 ok. Claritos, estamos ahí, yes. Ok, perfecto. Sí, ha, ha de ser su internet connection, I'm sorry, porque sí está lloviendo bastante heavy, entonces, pues a veces estos señores, como para el corazón, buenos, ¿verdad? Right? Yeah, that's what they do, yeah. That's what I do. Yeah, that's that's what we have. Okay, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry for you. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> okay. Vamos con Arely Garcia. Me dijo que tenía inconvenience with her internet connection. Estoy viendo que Arely me dijo, Mister, I'm sorry, but tengo problems right with the internet connection. What about um Alicia Perez? Alicia Perez. <laughs> Alicia Pérez, ¿está por ahí? ¿No? Ok, ya está en vacation mode. Ok, no, she is. What about Ana Osorio? Ana Osorio. No? No, she is. What about um, Ana García Martínez? Ana García, no. Ok, Ana Elizabeth Campos. Ana, yes, chair. Good evening. Thank you so much. Nice to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Esmeralda Mendoza. Esmeralda. Presente, no. teacher. Thank you, Esmeralda. Good evening. Welcome. Christian Romero. Gentlemen. No, he is. What about Maricela Perez? Present, teacher. Thank you, Maricela. Eh, Milagro Granado. Present teacher. Thank you, Milagro. Welcome, uh, Isabel Zúñiga. Present teacher. Thank you, Isabel. Welcome, uh, Ernesto. Hello, Ernesto. teacher. Present. Thank you, Ernesto. Nice to have you. Fátima Hernández. Fátima. Present. Ay, espérame, Fátima, que hice algo ahí que no tenía que hacer. Control Z, ¿eh? ¿verdad? No, para, para cancelar algo era control. No. Ay, es que esta cosa no me deja. O era para. Oh, perdón, ¿qué hice? No, era control Z. Ahí estoy. Permítanme que hice algo ahí que no tenía que hacer. Hice... Ok, perdón. Fátima, me dijo que estaba aquí Fátima y es. Sí, present. Yes, I'm sorry, but thank you so much. Good evening. Jessica Romero. Present, teacher. Thank you, Jessica. Welcome. Um, Jessica Serrano Ramírez. Hello, Jessica. No? Okay, she isn't. What about Juan López? Present. Juan López? No, he isn't. Present. present. Oh, aquí está Juan. Present. Yes. <laughs> sí. Thank you, Juan. I'm sorry, okay? Sí, thank you so much. Y Rosa, espérame. Okay. Rosa Salazar. Me... Sí, claro. okay. sí, claro. Hola, Melanie. Uh, eh, no. No voy a decir. No voy a decir. Melanie. Hola, mire, me acaban de enviar un mensaje que no se va a poder conectar esta noche. ¿Sí? Oh, I'm sorry. Eh, Nubia de Ramírez me mandó un mensaje que no se va a poder conectar porque está lloviendo. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, thank you so much, Hola. Melanie. Teacher, Rosa María Salazar, presente. <laughs> Rosa María, ahorita Rosa, ahorita Rosa. Rosa María, ahorita Rosa. Okay, thank you. Eh, Julio, Julio Tobar. Presente, teacher. Thank you so much, Julio. 
Eh, Miguel Rodríguez. Miguel. No. Nubia Daisy Ramírez de Serrano. No. Ok. Eh, ella, ella es la que no se puede conectar. Oh, yes, sí, sí, ya me digo, sorry. Eunice. Okay. Ah, Rosa, very good, Rosa. Sí, Melanie, no se preocupe. Escríbame al chat porque creo que tiene problemas con tu audio, Melanie. Ok. Um, Eunice Ruiz. Yes, teacher. Thank you so much. Good evening. Uh, Flores. Jennifer Flores. Present teacher. Thank you, Jennifer. And Yolanda Andrade de Rodas. Present teacher. Thank you, Yolanda. Ahorita reviso el chat. Please, give me a minute. Sí, Melanie, ya le tomé la asistencia, no se preocupe, ¿ok? Thank you so much, very good. Y gracias por informarme, ¿ok? Uh, Aleida Arely también. ¿eh? Rosa Salazar. Rosa María Salazar también. Ya le tomé asistencia, ¿ok? Very good, thank you so much. It's nice to have you. Me puso presente, Chel. Eh, sí, Rosa María, ya estuvo. Ah, gracias. Perfect. No problem. Thank you so much. Okay, so let's uh, begin. We're going to start with a conversation. Okay, uh, let me check. Let me start. Okay, here. Here we go. You can miss it. Vamos a empezar con la section number three. Okay, si les recomiendo, pues ahorita que vamos en vacation, que puedan avanzar en la section number three para que lo, next week, pues, pues ya estén libres, right? Yeah. Vamos a ver today with preposition of place. This is class number six. And let's begin with a little conversation which is related to this. Can I help you? That is the title of this conversation. Okay. Entiende la, la pregunta, can I help you? Do you understand the question, can I help you? Es cuando usted va a comprar allá, right? A las, a las stores. Y le dicen, excuse me. Excuse me. Can I help you? Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Me puede ayudar. Exactly, exactly. That's right. Entonces, la palabra excuse me, creo que es de front friends. Yes, front friends. Esta palabra es bastante ocupada para varias cosas. Right? Cuando usted quiere interrumpir a alguien, cuando usted quiere pedir permiso, cuando usted quiere volver a escuchar algo, right? you can say excuse me. Excuse me, right? Dependiendo del contexto, pues así aplica. Esta palabra, excuse me. Right? Entonces, por ejemplo, cuando usted quiere pues, empezar a hablar con alguien, right? le puede decir, excuse me, uh, are you uh, Andrea? Excuse me, are you the teacher? Excuse me, are you, uh, I don't know, George? Yes. Entonces, esta palabra, excuse me, uh, es bastante usada. Right? Y nos saca a veces de, de apuros. Por ejemplo, cuando usted va a pasar en medio de un montón de gente, right? Y para pedir permiso se lo dice, excuse me, right? Sí, excuse me, y pasa en medio de la gente, right? Yes. So you can, so you can, so it, you can use this expression, excuse me, para ese tipo de context. So voy a poner el audio three times. So what I need you to do is listen, right? And repeat at home. Just listen and do it. Page 87, exercise three. Conversation. Excuse me, can you help me? Listen and practice. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom now. It's an emergency. Hmm, let's see. Oh, there's a restroom in the department store on 3rd Avenue. Where on 3rd Avenue? It's on the corner of 3rd Avenue and Market Street. On the corner of 3rd and Market? Yes, it's across from the park. 
You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Page 87. Exercise 3. Conversation. Excuse me, can you help me? Listen and practice. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh, no. My son needs a restroom now. It's an emergency. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, there's a restroom in the department store on 3rd Avenue. Where on 3rd Avenue? It's on the corner of 3rd Avenue and Market Street. On the corner of 3rd and Market? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Page 87. Exercise 3. Conversation. Excuse me, can you help me? Listen and practice. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh, no. My son needs a restroom now. It's an emergency. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, there's a restroom in the department store on 3rd Avenue. Where on 3rd Avenue? It's on the corner of 3rd Avenue and Market Street. On the corner of 3rd and Market? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Thank you. So what is this conversation about? Any idea? It's about a restaurant. It is about a restaurant? Restaurant. Oh, it is about a restaurant. I'm sorry. It is about a it is about a public restaurant. Okay. Who is looking for a public restaurant? Who the is son. the mother of the son? The okay, son. so the mother and the son. Okay, the mother of the son, or like the mother and the son. okay, very good. And where where is located this restaurant? In, In the, the Third Avenue. Exactly on Third Avenue, right? On Third Avenue, right? Yes, very good. So, this is about direction, if you know, right? So, we are looking for something like a place or a building, and like we ask somebody outside, you could actually say, Excuse me, excuse me, can you help me? Okay, is there a public restaurant here? So, we're going to practice this conversation. Necesito que le tome captura de pantalla y voy a intentar abrir los breaker rooms so you can practice. Sé que algunos pues tienen inconvenience con el micrófono, pues sí sé que se le va a hacer un poquito difícil. Hay que practice, I know. Pero um, voy a hacer los de cuatro en caso pues, uh, pues tengan ese inconveniente y estén ahí con your partners just listening. Okay? So, so you, can, you can hear the way your partners pronounce this, this, okay? Ya le tomaron captura y si la pueden mandar al grupo, that would be fantastic. That would be very good, okay? I would really appreciate that if you send um, if you send this this conversation, okay? So, we have close breaker room, so you can join. Give me a minute. Mm -hmm. Okay, how many? Okay, okay, here we go. I will give you, I will give, I will give you seven minutes so you can practice. Si le queda time, you siempre, you can repeat. Voy a dejar en el grupo principal a four people. Vamos a tener a Maricela, Julio Cesar, y Rosa Salazar, and Eunice Ruiz. Ustedes se quedan. Ustedes se quedan en la sala principal, en el main room, y los demás eh, intenten ingresar a los grupos, right? So you can practice conversation. 
ok, about places. Y es otra vez en el main room tengo a Marisela, César Tobar, eh, Rosa María Salazar, y Eunice Ruiz. Ready? Let's see. Ready. Please join your group, Ernesto, Jessica, eh, Jennifer, uh, Aleida, eh, Milagro, please, Ana, eh, eh, Yolanda Andrade, Jorge, Juan Carlos, please, join your, oh, very good, Yolanda, very good, very good, okay, and Melanie, Jennifer, Ernesto, pueden, you can join your partner so you can practice, Ash, you see, mm -hmm. Okay, that is Ernest. Very good, very good. Like that. Okay, so the ones that I told you, um, Maricela, Cesar, this is time for you, so you can practice here anytime. Yes, very good. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, I have a presentation on my phone. Um, so if you want, we can start. No sé por qué no me sale. Sale otra cosa. Aquí está. Vaya. Yes. You want to start? Yeah. Okay. Excuse me. Can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restaurant? Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. No, it's an emergency. Let's see. Oh, there's a restroom in the department store on Third Avenue. Where on Third Avenue? It's in the car. It's on the corner of Third Avenue and Market Street. On the corner of Third and Market? Yes, it's across from the park. And miss it. Thanks a lot. Okay, now I'm going to be the mother. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Um, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom now. It's an emergency. Mm, let's see. Um, there's a restroom in the department store on Third Avenue. Where on the Third Avenue? It's on the corner of Third Avenue and Market Street. On the corner of Third and Market? Yes, it's across uh, from the park. You can miss it. Oh, thanks a lot. Now you're, you're going to be the mother again. Excuse me. Can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Now it's an, it's an emergency. emergency. Mm, let's see. Oh, there's a restroom in, a, in the department store on Third Avenue. Where on the where on Third Avenue? It's in the corner of Third Avenue and Market Street. On the corner of Third uh, Market. Yes, it's a it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Very good. That was very good. Pronunciation is very good. Uh, a few mistakes, why? And pretty much with like, where on Third Avenue? 
Square on Third Avenue. So a little bit of intonation at the end. Very good, the two of you. Perfect, okay, can you do it one more time, please? Thank you. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Um, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom now. It's an emergency. Um, let's see. Um, there's a restroom in the department store on Third Avenue. Avenue. Where on Third Avenue? It's on the corner of Third Third Avenue and Market Street. On the corner of Third and Market. Yes, it's across from the park. Yes, you you can miss it. Thanks a lot. Very good. I have problems with the um with the intonation of some words. Uh, with, with the questions here, la dijo así como flat. So la dice flat es un acento, normal acento. Pero luego aquí lo corrigió, right? On the corner of the market. Yes, right? So entonces, uh, tiene que darle la intonation para que suene como question. Usted se fija. Pues yeah. no, no es como, o sea, sí tiene el signo de preguntas, pero gramaticalmente no está estructurada with a question. question right? Entonces, por eso tendemos a... But it is, it is, it is very good. Okay? Yeah. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta de algún vocabulary here que no entiende o like everything is good for you? Oh. Everything is good. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Okay. So this is the way we communicate or we ask. Oh, and time is over. See you in the main room, okay? Thank you. Okay, bye. Perfect, great job. Thank you. Thank you so much. Vamos a escuchar one more time the audio and then I will hear a few participation from you, okay? Thank you so much. No se escucha, teacher. No se escucha, teacher. No se escuchó el audio, teacher. Thank you so much. Cuando pase eso, así como lo hicieron, right? Very good. Pero espérame. Jesus, Jesus. Así como lo hicieron, de una vez, mister. There's a restroom. Page 87. Exercise 3. Conversation. Excuse me, can you help me? Listen and practice. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom now. It's an emergency. Hmm, let's see. Oh, there's a restroom in the department store on 3rd Avenue. Where on 3rd Avenue? It's on the corner of 3rd Avenue and Market Street. On the corner of 3rd and Market? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much. We're going to start with Maricela and Esmeralda. Maricela, you are the mother, and Esmeralda, you are the passerby. Ready? Let's begin. Okay. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restaurant around here? Oh. 
Hola. Esmeralda, Hola. Esmeralda. Frank Esmeralda. Ok, ok, ok. Ahorita, ahorita está ahí. Thank you. A, Thank you. a public restaurant, disculpe. A public restaurant, mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh, no, my son needs a restroom. Now it's an emer emer emergency. emergency. Mm, let's see. Oh, there are restaurants in the apartment store in the avenue. Where on Fear Avenue? It's on the corner of the avenue and Market Street. Oh, there. Oh, they call us the uh, market. Yes, it is across from the park. You can see. Thanks a lot. Very good. That was very good. Okay. Solo la palabra third. 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 Tiene que third. sacar la lengua. Third. Que le topen la, third. los dientes arriba. Third. 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 Okay. Third. Very good. That was very good. Thank you. Thanks. Very good. The power of practice. Miguel. Hello, Miguel. Good evening. Nice to have you. Hey. Miguel, you are hello. the passerby. You are the passerby, Miguel. And the mother, let me see, that will be you, eh, Milagro Granados. Thank you. Okay. Eh, mother is Miguel, ¿verdad? No, that is you. That is you. Ah, Miguel. Um, excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restaurant around here? A public restroom? Um, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh, no. My son needs a restroom now. It's an emergency. Um, let's see. Oh, this there's a restroom in the department store on 3rd Avenue. Where on 3rd Avenue? It's on the corner of 3rd Avenue and the Market Street. On the corner of Tier and Market? Yes, it's across from the park. You can miss it. Thanks. Hello. Thank you so much. Very good. A great job. Okay. We have a key, public, public, public transportation, public transportation, public restaurant. Okay. Very good. Yes. Let's take a look at the following video that is page 87. That is about places. Let's listen and watch. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn prepositions of place in order to give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled it's across from the park. Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Now, I would like to talk about prepositions of place. Let's practice the following prepositions and phrases. On. On the corner of. Across from. Next to. Between. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Let's take a look at our map now. And let me point out the locations mentioned. The department store. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. 
it's across from the park it's next to the bank the bank is between the department store and the restaurant on the images you can see the meaning of each preposition let's analyze the preposition on we will use the preposition on to make reference that a place is on a particular street if we take a look at the map on the screen I'll make more examples using the preposition on Gus gas station Gus's gas station is on First Avenue the US Post Office the US Post Office is on Center Street let's talk about the preposition on the corner of if we analyze our example the department store is on Main Street it's on the corner of Main and First Avenue now let me give a couple of other examples using on the corner of the movie theater is on the corner of Park Street and Main Street the supermarket is on the corner of Main Street and 2nd Avenue let's move on with the preposition next to our example shows the department store is next to the bank we could also say Maria's restaurant is next to the bank finally the preposition between as you can see on this map the bank is between the department store and Maria's restaurant now is your turn to practice I would like for you to give the location of all the places on this map for example try to answer the following questions using prepositions where is Gus gas station where is the hospital where is the US post office where is second Avenue bookstore where is dams drugstore after you finish this activity share your work in our discussion forums That was a nice video about preposition of play. Okay. So this video, which is called about preposition of place, we're gonna have not too many. We're gonna work with the basic one. That means the ones that we use the most. Right? Miguel, ahorita le tomo la asistencia. Yes, we're gonna work with the ones that we use the most. Just give me a minute. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. Okay, here we go. We're gonna work with the ones that we use the most, okay, and the ones that we have in this video. Okay, so these are the ones that we have in the video, right? The first preposition is on, if you see. This is the preposition on, yes, on Third Avenue, on Market Street. So these are the street, right? And we use on when we have a street. To indicate the location of something, right? So, for example, the department store is on Third Avenue. So, this is the department store and is located on Third Avenue. Yes. So, I can say, oh, that's located on Third Avenue. Yes. Then we have another preposition which is called on the corner of. If you see, right? This is the. Uh, this is the corner of, okay? So this is the corner of. And when I have a corner, I need to use like, it's on the corner of the third and market. So aquí tengo la third avenue y aquí tengo la market street. So it is in the corner. So that means I need to mention the two, let's say streets, yes, or avenue that we have that collide each other, yes? So in the corner, I need to mention the streets. And then I have this one, which is across from, 
but this is one place. I'm sorry, this is one place and this is another one. So that you need to cross across, right? So that means that you need to cross by maybe by doing the action of walking or, or something else. Yes. And this is the way you do it, right? Across. So it's across from the park. So aquí tengo el park and here is across. It's across. The building is across. Then I have next to. Mire. Tenemos next to, right? See, oh, this building, this building is next to otro place, right? So it's next to the bank. Este es el bank y aquí es el place que yo quiero, right? Recuerdan que vimos los places in town, yes? Bakery, I don't know, a city hall, a park, and stuff like that. Well, with this proposition, we are indicating where is located something in the city. Here I have another one, which is between. So, between, tengo que mencionar los dos places que están a la, en, uh, la, a la par del que necesito mencionar. Right? So, yo digo, the bank is between the department store and also the restaurant. Here. Yes. So, these are the basic preposition of place. Cuando se refiere a indicar where is located something, a building, for example, your workplace. Or for example, uh, uh, I don't know, a store in your city, right? So, si alguien le pregunta, hey, excuse me, right? Where is the bank? Where is, uh, I don't know, the cafeteria? Or where is the bakery? Or where is McDonald's? Or where is, I don't know, the bus station? Or where is the bus stop? Or where is, I don't know, uh, the gas station, right? So, we can give locations, right? Oh. Mire, ahí enfrente está, right? Cuando se atreve a preguntar, excuse me, where is the store? Cuando se atreve a preguntar después de la gran pena que tiene, yeah, where is the store? Mire, ahí está, ahí dice, right? So, it's in front of you, that's what they say, right? So, these are the prepositions, basic prepositions. Tenemos varias prepositions, ok? Así que ahorita vamos con las basic, que son estas. One, two, three, four, and five. Tenemos un montón. Yes, tenemos un montón. Pero ahorita vamos con just with five. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta o alguna duda de estas? Five prepositional place. Yes. Mm -hmm. Estas son las que más ocupamos cuando se refiere a comunicar where is located something. A place. A, a building. Ok. Yes. Right. Let's take a look at some examples here. Use on with names of the streets. Okay. Entonces, cuando usted le cae una, una, una street, okay? cuando usted tiene el nombre de una street, vamos a utilizar la preposition on. Yes. Right. Vamos a preocupar la preposition on. It's on, uh, I don't know, Second Avenue, Third Avenue, uh, Masferrer Avenue. I don't know. What else do we have? The bookstore is on Center Street. The theater is on Park Avenue. Entonces, siempre que tengo una calle para comunicar un building donde está, voy a utilizar on. Yes, está sobre, right? Más Ferrer Avenue. Los próceres Avenue, right? Eh, I don't know. Los héroes uh, Avenue, right? Yes. Uh, yeah, mucho también. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Very good, right? O <laughs> calle, okay, street. A street, uh, uh, yeah, see, sí, Arce Street, Arce Street, right? Eh, si va para, no, para el centro, creo que tenemos, creo que está la primera, First Street, y creo que está Second Street, I guess, right? Uh, de ahí no me acuerdo, de más, oh, sorry. <laughs> creo que se llama Juan Pablo II, right? I guess another one. La Juan Pablo. Eh. Exactly, la Juan Pablo, that was right. Okay. O la 29. Mm -hmm. Or la 29th Street, right? 29th Street. <laughs> <laughs> Avenue, right? Across, meaning across from is another way of saying opposite. Es decir, lo contrario, right? ¿Cómo le digo? Um, ¿Cómo lo contrario? Como al otro right. lado de, right? Al otro lado de, right? Es como lo opposite. The library is across from the theater, right? Across from the theater. The library is opposite 
opposite the theory. Entonces, en algunos casos, usted va a encontrar así como este ejemplo here. Okay, the library is opposite to the city. Entonces, vamos a hacer algo easy, right? Easy. The first one is, excuse me, is there a bus office around here? Yes, there is. It's on Maple Street. Vamos a seleccionar la preposition. Let's begin with Juan Carlos Linares. Please continue, Juan Carlos Linares. Yes, there is. Oh. O seguía en la otra, ¿verdad? Where, oh, yes. where letter a. on the letter maple. A. Letter A, very good. Where on maple? Continue. It's in uh, the corner of Maple Street on 2nd Avenue. That is correct. That is correct. Very good. Thank you. Uh, Isabel, continue, please. Next to Charlie's restaurant. Very good. Thank you so much. Nice job. Okay. Blanca Esmeralda, continue. Blanca, su micrófono is off. Your mic is off. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. It is a corner street from to the Windsor Hotel. Okay, so, so just to be clear, what is the correct option? From or to? Uh, yes. From. Okay, it's across to the street. From. Okay, from. from the Windsor Hotel. Yes, people at home, yes. Miguel? Is this correct, Miguel? Yes. Mm, I don't know. Okay, 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 very good. Hey, Julio, what do you think? Across uh, from or across to? Um, across, across the street from. Okay, thank you so much. Very good. Ustedes se fijan, mira aquí la indicación, here. This is mm -hmm. across from, across from. Okay, entonces tenemos la palabra, it's across the street from the Windsor Hotel. Very good. Thank you so much. Me, eh, Julio, continue. Julio, please. Thank you. Thank you all. Um, where is the bank? It's on up the street between the hospital and police station. Very good. Okay. So, mire, menciono, menciono los two places, right? Hospital and police station. Great. Thanks very much. You're welcome. Okay. Thank you. So we have A and B. We have a conversation, right? Very good. All of this, this one, you did it very good. Vamos a trabajar with Miguel. And Eunice, puede participar, Eunice? Yes. Yes, that's right. Thank you. Miguel, usted va a ser letter A, and Eunice, you are letter B. Ready? Let's begin. Excuse me, is there a post office around here? Eunice? Yes, perdón. <laughs> La letra B, ¿verdad? Letter B, yes. Yes, there is. It's in. Perdón, it's on Maple Street. Where on Maple? It's in the corner of Maple Street on Second. Avenue. Next to Charlie's restaurant. Yes, that's right. Right. It's across the street from the Windsor Hotel. Thanks. Oh, and where is the bank? It's on Black Street with you. The hospital. The hospital and police station. Great. Thanks very much. You're welcome. Thank you so much. So, no, tenemos Oak. No, we say Oak Street. And between. Pronunciation between. Repeat the line, say between, please. Between. Between. Oak Street. 
between... Se, se fijó lo que hizo Eunice, y esto es lo que le digo, right, en, en, en paying attention. Se fijó Miguel, right? Ella cometió un error con pronunciation aquí en Maple, pero vino Miguel y pronunció bien, where on Maple. Y, es, y luego Eunice en la siguiente, aquí lo corrigió, right? That was very good. Yes, Eunice, a great job. Thank you. Thank you. Isabel? Isabel? Teacher, I have a doubt. Oh, tell me, please. Uh, why? Uh, and the answer were, were on maple. Uh, we use it's in. Is that correct? Or it's on the corner of. What's oh. the difference? I guess it's, it's on the corner of. Yes, that is correct. That is correct. Okay. What ah, okay. happened? What happened? Acuérdese que in normalmente es cuando está en, en, en dentro de algo, right? Dentro de algo. Entonces, una corner, si se fija, es como um, tienen que considerar two things. Yes. Right. Entonces, Por eso es que ocupan in, porque co coinciden las dos calles, entonces tiene que estar ahí, right? Yes, you know what I mean? Right? No. <laughs> ok, entonces, como, como las I'm dos confused. calles... No, no, I think, I mean, por ejemplo, la idea es que las dos calles collide y oh. forman una corner, yes? Entonces, usted como persona tiene que estar in the corner. Ah, yes. yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yes. yes. Y en cambio, cuando es solo la calle, sobre la calle, pues solo está la calle, ¿no? Yeah. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, teacher. That is that is the reason why we have in. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much. Nice question. We're gonna work right now with. Let me see. Um. Okay. Elizabeth, puede encender su micrófono. Elizabeth Campos Romero. Puede participar. Yes. Excuse me, teacher, and repeat, please. Puede participar. Yes. En que, disculpe, es que... Oh, le voy a pedir que participe en la conversación. Ok. Perfect. En Yolanda Yamile, ¿puede participar? Yolanda. ¿Puede participar, Yolanda? Yes or no? Sí, sí, sí. Ok, entonces ustedes dos. Yolanda, usted va a hacer A y su otra compañera es B. Ready? Let's begin. Excuse me, is there a post office around here? Yes, there is. It's on Maple Street. Where on Maple? It's in the corner of Map Maple Street and Second Avenue. Next from the Charlie's Restaurant. Yes, that's right. It's a across the street from the Windsor Hotel. Hotel. Thanks. Oh, oh, and where is the back? Is the it's, one? It's on Oak Street between the hospital and police station. Great. Thanks very much. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Very good, the two of you. A few uh, mistakes on pronunciation, like maple, right? Uh, but you did it very good. Great. Thanks very much. Mire, que tenemos la expresión. Thanks very much. Jesus. Okay. Thanks very much. La primera vez que la veo así. Thanks very much. Y esto que este libro lo ocupamos a lot, right? Thanks very much. Y la primera vez que me fijo que tiene. Thanks very much. Porque siempre lo he visto, thank you very much. Así, like long expression, but no thanks very much. Oh my gosh. Cada día se aprende something new, right? Okay? Yes, this is the way we use the prepositions, okay? Vamos con las basic, vamos con las basic prepositions, okay? For example, if, you, if I ask you, where, where, oh my gosh, where is Metro Centro? 
Where is Metro Center? Okay. ¿Cómo responde esta cuestión? Um, for me, I don't think so. <laughs> Where is Metro Center? Right? You can give me like, like a street so I can get, oh, so now it's I get um, San Salvador. Okay, so the first one is it's in San Salvador. Pero suponga, suponga que yo estoy buscando Metro Center. Right? Yo estoy en San Salvador, yes? Right? Pero yo quiero llegar a Metro. Like, how, how, how can you tell me? Oh, mire pues. Mm -hmm. Yes? Next to Avenue, Oh, okay. It's, it's on. It's on, very good. It's on. Cuando, cuando son calles, utilizo on. The Boulevard de los Cerros. Oh, okay. Heroes. Boulevard. 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 Okay, man. Okay. Boulevard. Okay. Boulevard. Okay. Okay. It's on Heroes Boulevard, right? Yes. Heroes Boulevard. Okay. Right. So uh, this is the way we can say, oh, entonces vengo yo y digo, ah, vengo yo y voy al, al, al ¿cómo se llama? Al Waze. Yes, voy a, voy a, ah, espérame. Voy al, uh, voy al, al, al Waze y pongo Heroes Boulevard, right? Entonces, y ahí voy, yes, right? Little by little, I voy, yes. This is, acuérdense, cuando tenemos calle, siempre vamos a utilizar on, yes. Right. Okay. Where is Metro Center? Right. Ahora, como me contestó your partner at the beginning, cuando yo le dije, where is Metro Center? Y me dijo, in San Salvador, eso está correcto también. Right. Pero, mm -hmm. en el contexto que estamos trabajando ahorita, es como que yo estoy cerca, right? Pero ando, like, lost. Right? So, I need directions. Entonces, si ella me dice, oh, it's on Heroes Boulevard, pues, eh, pues, pues yo ahí, ahí eh, lo pongo en el way, si ahí voy. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, ahora, por ejemplo, si te dicen, right? oh, excuse me, where is, where is, my gosh, where is, um, ¿cómo se llama? Oh, or, or Rosales Hospital. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. Where is Rosales Hospital, right? Yo voy a pasar consulta ahí, right? Porque me la dejan una vez al año y I'm sorry, estoy another year, another year. So, where is Rosales Hospital? So, it's 21st. Okay. Uh -huh. 25. Oh, look at that one, right? Okay, it's on 25. Soy, soy de Santa Ana. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Okay. Si cuando viene le toca lejos, right? Mm, ¿Cuál es? Yeah. ¿25? Uh, Avenue. Avenue. OK, Avenue. Very good. Vamos a usar la, la forma contractada de Avenue. Aquí está. Avenue. Very good. Yeah, it's on 25 Avenue. Very good. Right? 25 Avenue. So this is the way we can say uh, also, también podemos decir is between or is next to. Creo que hay un park ahí. Creo que es Cuscatlán, right? Like next un costado, to. teacher. Oh, next to, exacto. Next to Blanca, next to Park de Cuscatlán. Right? So, so Where is from? Puede mm -hmm. decir en la, en la corner across también. From. Ah, de, la, de mm -hmm. la Roosevelt y la 25. Oh, look at that one. Exactly. In the corner of 25, 25 Avenue and Roosevelt. Roosevelt, right? Or Roosevelt? Roosevelt. Roosevelt. Okay. Very good. Yes. So we can say that as well. Right? Entonces, uh, yo le recomiendo que lo practique así con el Waze. ¿Sí? Lo pone y ahí va. Yes. Póngalo en inglés. Yo sé que, por ejemplo, si usted va a ir a Metro Centro Santa Ana, yes, usted ya sabe dónde es, right? Pero for practice, usted póngale, oh, voy allá y dame las directions. Yes. Y le va a ir diciendo, turn left. Turn right, go straight, ok, mm -hmm. entonces, right, así puede hacerlo, aunque usted ya sepa dónde va, right, va por las tortillas, 
Okay, one way, right? So you can practice a little bit. La, yes. Si va por las pupusas. Si va por las pupusas. Oh, nombre, aquí está la tienda de la niña de Lupita, next to, okay? Next. La casa de la niña Juanita, right? Next to pupusería. Exactly, exactly. So you can practice. Uh -huh. Oh, I'm sorry, it's time. Enjoy your vacation. Nos vemos el Monday, the next week, el lunes, right? Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Good night. 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 Good night